Hello Taurus, it's Irish Donna Tarot with your December 1st through the 7th monthly love reading uh, for the collective Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it resonates for you, it's your story. If part of it resonates for you, that's yours. Uh, and if it doesn't resonate with you, go look at the other videos. I highly always suggest looking at your ascendant sign. So let's start the reading here. We're going to clarify the nine card reading uh, with the another deck of tarot. So that really does add so much to the story. It really is an exciting process to watch. I highly recommend you watch all the way through. Like, subscribe, share, and here we go. Uh, well, first of all, we wanna see what's at the bottom of the deck. So you're leaving something behind. That's the overall energy. In a situation, you're going to leave something behind. Uh, it does look like there could have been an argument recently with your lover, person of interest. Let's cut the deck and see what is going on, Taurus, with your love life. The mutual energy coming into the reading for you and the person of interest or the partner that you have, whoever you're thinking about, wh whoever you came to this reading to ask about or to view, is the Eight of Pentacles, working hard on the relationship with room for growth. Currently, the mutual energy is that you may be juggling two lovers. You could be juggling two jobs, which affects your Im or impacts your relationship. This shows a little bit of un uncertainty and a lack of a dedication or an interest in just each other. So sometimes people are just juggling a lot of work because these are coins and it can be very disruptive, or it can be, you know, you could just juggle somebody through the holidays, right? Like you could juggle your family and your lover. You could juggle your job and an extra job and a lover. So that's a card of juggling. Doesn't necessarily mean anything bad. Okay, what is on the person's mind that you are dealing with or asking about? Queen of Swords, they want the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. They want fair, they want equal. This is a very fair, honest, straightforward person. This is like a tough boss who is um, very demanding that you do your job, but they're very fair also because this is Libra energy, okay? So you may be dealing with a Libra. All right. So the energy in terms of how they view you is a death card. Something about the relationship. So some of you might have had a recent breakup. We don't really know yet. Transformation can mean that relationships actually get much better. Uh, but it does show that, that this queen will cut anybody out that doesn't treat them well. Okay? So that is your person. So what they, how they see you is that, how they view you is somebody who is transforming, leaving, coming. You know, there's a lot that's going on here. All right, how they feel about you and your their emotions is that you are, ooh, daddy, daddy, daddy. This is a daddy card. This card means that you would really, uh, that they feel that you're the one that they would like to have in their life to manifest. They feel as though they really love you, that you bring everything to the table, that you give them abundance emotionally, financially, uh, heart space abundance, passion. You really are a very ideal partner for this person. So they do love you and they love everything you bring to the table. How they see the two of you moving forward and what they want to see moving forward is progress. It shows that you've been having a tough time here. This relationship has had some problems. So it does show that your person really wants to make things better. That yes, there's a lot that's good in the relationship, but they're not sure that you really see it. Okay, Taurus? So let's see what's the hidden factors, behind the scenes factors. Oh, look at this. Both of you are going to fight for the relationship. That's mutual energy. You both want the relationship, but... You know, it shows that Taurus clearly wants some major changes. All right. The advice from the tarot. Oh, beautiful energy. The tarot is telling you that, Taurus, this relationship is probably much better than you think it is. So even though somebody looks like they're walking away or, you know, and your person sees this as you, this energy is you, but it does look like the two of you want to transform your relationship by giving up on that which is unsatisfying in the relationship. So when we clarify, we're going to find out what those factors are. But your advice is love from the heart, love with honesty, be spiritual, assume the best of everyone, 
and they should assume the best of you because this card says believe in your hopes and dreams because for you can manifest them and that they will come true and with this partner. So <laughs> a little bit surprising and really wonderful advice. Uh, it's really a laws of attraction. It's Aquarian energy. Um, and here we see that the outcome is, is somebody sneaking around and juggling two people, okay? And the queen's looking for the truth, and the death card means that somebody's been going off to seek happiness elsewhere. So this does look like a card of potential betrayal, but we don't have the three of swords. We don't have some of the other betrayal cards. So it might be simply an emotional situation. You know, sometimes we feel that people betray us emotionally. It also could indicate for some of you that maybe your partner's been online chatting with people. Um, maybe you feel as though they're sneaking around and, you know, looking for another partner. Maybe they're flirting online. Maybe they're looking even, you know, at something, something like, um, I don't, I hate to say it, but porn, possibly for someone here, probably that's true. And that feels like a betrayal. You know, it just feels like, okay, what's going on with that? So, you know, I don't like this complicated, so let's look at the clarifiers. So what do we see here? The eight of coins for Taurus and their love life for the month. Uh, even with the clarifiers, I do like, oh, look at, we have the king of earth, and that is you, Taurus. You are showing up in your own reading. Oh, I love that energy. The king of earth is the king of pentacles. That is Taurus. That, so your partner adores everything about you, but the love is a little bit unequal. It looks like they might love you more than you love them, okay? So let's continue to look at the clarifiers here. Why is the eight of coins here? Why is the eight of coins here? Five of air. Well, it feels as though your partner thinks that you might be working on a relationship elsewhere, okay? They feel as though in the past you had more going for you because you have the Eight of Coins, and here they're hoping to get back to the Seven of Coins. So it does look like you reduced the energy. There's something about you, Taurus, that you went from Eight of Coins to Two of Coins. Okay. Why is the Two of Coins here? Three of Fire. Three of Fire is looking into the future. So for some of you, it will be simply um, juggling money, juggling a dream that you have. Let's see what else. Four of Fire. Four of Wands. Oh, juggling, juggling coins. That's Four of Fire is a marriage card. It's a wedding card. Oh, very interesting. Okay. That is also transformational, and that is also going from your Eight of Cups to your Ten of Cups. That's also, for some of you, hopes and dreams for love coming true. So transformation is not always bad. The death card oftentimes means, for instance, at a very practical level, the death card means I hate my old kitchen. It's been here for 50 years. I moved into an old house. I'm going to knock it down, and I'm going to build a new one. Okay? So... I want people to really stop being afraid of the death card because it actually is quite lovely. If you want to change in your life, the death card has to have some level of influence. Okay, so what do we see here? So somebody's juggling the idea of marriage, and that is in your mutual energy right now, transforming the relationship to something more stable and something that brings both of your dreams come true. And the Seven of Swords means that somebody <laughs> is looking around to see if they can find an engagement ring or they're looking online. So there are different storylines here. This is a general reading. So one person's breaking up. Another person thinks that their person is cheating, but another person is planning, has secret plans to pop the question. Okay, they haven't, the, the actual engagement cards are not here yet, but they may still show up. All right, the Nine of Earth, okay. So the Nine of Earth, Taurus, is a Virgo energy. So it does show that you're probably, some of you are juggling two jobs. You may have taken on the energy for the holidays to make more money. Um, and again, again, a person may be making more money to get ring, a ring, an abundant gift for the future, number three, okay. So let's see, why is the Queen of Swords here? The Queen of Swords here is because she does not like competition. And that is, um, you know, that's on your person's mind that you're dealing with. They do not want competition and they want the truth. They want to make sure you're not messing around. All right, the Fool card. They will leave. They'll cut out. They will leave. 
if they feel as though you've been lying or that they have competition in the situation. All right, what else? Five of Earth. Yes, if you leave them in the cold, they are out of here. They're, they're, they're going to call an Uber, they're going to call a taxi, they're going to call a friend, they're going to call uh, they're going to call their best friend, uh, but they are on their way out if they find out, if this gets verified. So for some it will. For some people this will happen as the Queen of Swords energy, Libra energy will come in and uh, will cut somebody out and leave this relationship for a new one if they find out that they've they have competition. They've been left in the cold. Why is the death card here? Five of water. Sadness. That is a card of sadness. It's a card that, look at, she has her, ha her hand and her hair. She's floating around in what she feels is a beautiful relationship, only to find out that there's some unhappiness. Sometimes our partners really don't know how unhappy we are, so that can be an uncomfortable card to discover. Patience, oh, patience is granted. That's the temperance card. That's a card of reconciliation. That's a card of transforming your relationship and rescuing it and making hopes and dreams come true. So again, we have three storylines, okay? The Queen of Fire, look at that, the Queen of Fire. So that energy is Aries energy. And so for some of you Taurus, you know, you're dealing with an Aries. Um, let's look and see why the Four of Pentacles is here with the King of Pentacles. Well, that's holding on to your money. That can be miserly. But that's saving money, too. And miserly money can be secretive money, right? I'm going to put this money back so I can get a ring or give a gift. Okay. The Six of Water. Okay. So this card really speaks to soulmate energy that in which this person is really missing. They're alone. They're sort of crying. So it does show that you know, how they feel about you and your, their emotions is that to lose you would be tragic. You know, the thought of losing you uh, with this, you know, King of Pentacles energy is really, she's holding her stomach. It's almost like, you know, she feels like she could be nauseous. Okay, High Priestess. High Priestess energy is intuitive energy. It's psychic energy. It's also consulting a psychic. Hello, <laughs> to help you. If you're having difficulties in a relationship, the, you know, it's saying that you could, there is a spiritual path because this is your advice. If you contact a high priestess or somebody that can help you, give you advice about the relationship, it would be good. Ten of air. Okay. So this card really says that your person feels as though, for some of you, you're ending a relationship. For some of you, you're ending a period of time apart. For some of you, you're putting an end to the stress of not knowing what your future is with a person. And you're going to seal the deal because you're saving money for a ring because you do not want to lose this person. So it's a higher level of commitment. Okay. So why do we have the seven of coins here for you? Four of air. Okay. The seven of coins means that you've really been worried about your money, that your person feels as though to have the relationship that they want to get where they want to, because this is what they want to see happen. They want to see the garden of your relationship grow, and the Four of Air says that they don't think that there's enough money to do that. Uh, again, we see a lot of that energy here, right? Working a different job, squirreling away money. Okay, so we get the King of Fire, and, you know, the King of Fire is Leo energy. So some of you are dealing with a Leo, or you're a Leo. Uh, ascendant or moon or Venus so it shows that your person really wants their they have a fiery passionate desire to make more money so that the relationship can be more stable okay this is you Taurus again so your partner feels as though you bring a lot to the table and that they don't really match you all right, so why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is this the hidden factor? The King of Air. Okay, the King of Air is all about, that's Aquarius energy. And that is, could be an Aquarian, a friend, or somebody advising you. Uh, you it could be also your Moon, your uh, Rising, or your Venus. And it shows that you want to be victorious. You want to fight for the relationship. Both of you want this, by the way because this is your mutual hidden factor here. Both of you want the relationship to be successful, and both of you have are going into your thoughts, 
about what that looks like. Also, I, I would also say that one of you probably has a job in technology or, you know, could, the king of air is holding a sword typically, and that means that they think in very logical ways, just as a queen of swords. So there's some soulmate energy here, okay? There's soulmate energy here, and we have soulmate energy here also, all right? So it indicates that both of you have very, very fine intellects. It indicates both of you are logical, rational. Both of you feel that you can make the relationship work. You feel that you can absolutely make this work, but you're going to have to think strategically about it. All right, what is the star card here? Why is this the advice? Hermit card. Go inside, do some soul searching, recognize good things when you have them. So sometimes when we lack appreciation for the abundance that we have, we lose, you know, we lose out. So this is very much saying that you should stick with this, stick in the relationship. You can manifest your dreams. Don't leave because, you know, you can find your happiness right here. So the Hermit card says, do some soul searching. We all need to do it from time to time. Sometimes we get so caught up in everyday life that we really aren't uh, paying attention to everything, the abundance that we currently have. Page of Water, you know, give messages of love. Tell the person you really love them. Share your emotions. Air sign energy tends to be very cold feeling. Um, but you, you guys are not cold people. You just are intellectuals and intellects and... So eight of water, okay. So it shows that the two of you should advance the relationship, transform the relationship, and you should have, you should stop being so emotional and counting on your emotions to drive the relationship. You should be more strategic. You should be more, um, what do we, do we call it? Um, thoughtful, present, you know, really, really thinking about life a little bit differently because you've already manifested your divine relationship. You really, it's here. And so it's really important for you to let go of some of the emotions that drive you currently. Okay, why else is it here? Ace of air, a new beginning, and your intellects and the truth. You recognize the truth. You recognize that this is a divine partnership. So for many of you, you aren't married yet. For many of you, you may be married thinking or considering other options, which would not necessarily be. The cards do not advise us. The cards are advising you to transform what you have. Some of you who are thinking about getting married, uh, your partner or your person of interest feels as though they need to bring more to the table. And how beautiful is that? All right. You know, this card, when I look at air sign energy, the other thing I'm going to add is air sign energy also rules like surgeons. People, we, ha we always have that movie, right? There's no crying in baseball, said Tom Hanks. No crying in baseball, ball, but there's no crying in uh, surgery. If your doctor went into surgery and started crying because they cut you open, because they're an intellectual who's at the top of their game, uh, that would be a bad thing. So I really want you to embrace this energy. It feels cold sometimes. And you want more emotion, but you can have more emotion by simply choosing to think positively. All right. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What's the Sneaky Pete card doing here? Messenger of Fire. Okay. So something that is coming up right now is that you guys have to transform the relationship. There's somebody here who's talking possibly only for some, not everyone, but somebody is talking to somebody and texting them possibly on the internet and it is somewhat inappropriate because the fire is a messenger that's sort of passionate. It can be sexy. The two of coins can mean juggling people. Again, you have your divine partnership. You know, remember that. And this is the outcome card. So what does this mean? Nine of water. Okay. Oh! <laughs> All right. So see, this is where clarifiers totally, totally, totally change a reading. Okay, because the Nine of Water is the happiest card in the deck. So while it could be possible that somebody is talking to someone else, it also shows that you are strategically planning to give a gift of passion to the one you love. So we have the Eight of Cups. 
We have the Nine of Cups, and the next is the Ten of Cups. So this, again, indicates somebody is planning on moving the relationship to the next level. When they level up with you, Taurus, when they become your equal, they want to use strategic this is Libra. Libra energy could be coming into play here. We, so we have the Queen of Air, Libra. And a decision is made. And what is that decision? Empress card, Divine Partnership. All right, so the sneaking around this month, the juggling money, it all looks like it's for the cause of getting married because the Empress is the Queen of the Queens. She is a wife. She is a mother. So that can be either energy, and these, meet, these readings can be flipped. So this could be you, this could be your partner, but always remember that, and that is an incredible reading. Why is the Eight of Cups over here? The Star card! <laughs> You're leaving your discontent. What is that? Wasn't there a play like that? The Summer of My Discontent. You're leaving it behind. You're just emotionally transforming your energy. You're, you're, you're going to the next level. This is actualization, the star card. Your dreams are coming true in love. You're leaving behind some of the emotional disappointments you've had. You're forgiving. You know, you're forgiving. This is a card of forgiveness and healing in a relationship. Your wish comes true. Your, your wish comes true. This is really quite a beautiful love story. How lucky, how beautiful in this month of December. So that is your first week monthly reading. Please subscribe, like, share. Send in your love from Chicago. Send me some back with a, a nice subscribe. I'd love to see you back again. Thanks so much. See you the rest of the month. Bye.